and welcome along. Today we are taking a first look at Ballydorn. Uh, this map is created by E.B. Oibu, Oe, Oe, I think is how you pronounce it. It's O-Y-E-E-B-O. -E -E uh, this is the third version of the map, uh, the most recent version. Uh, and the fixed version as released on FSUK. Uh, a link to the map will be in the description. Uh, and the first thing that strikes me when I arrive on this map is... Oh wow. Look at that. Um, so this is the exact position that you land in when you spawn into the map. Uh, the only thing I have done in here is I've added a land in as we always do to do one of these first looks. But... Wow. And that is just breathtaking. Now, one of the uh, caveats that is on the map uh, is that it has long render distances. So, uh, I'm expecting a bit of an FPS drop. Uh, if we bring up the FPS at the moment, we're sitting about 32, low, so low 30s. Which, on my machine, is not too bad, actually. Especially when we're around a yard. So, we'll see how we go. If we notice any big FPS drops, I'll highlight that. But in general, um, yeah, this is a fairly high-spec PC map. Uh, it's not available on consoles. It's only available to download from FSUK. So we will be reviewing it on that basis or giving the first look, I would say, because these aren't, aren't detailed reviews. Uh, but we're giving a first look on that basis. Uh, if we come around the corner here from where we start, uh, we find the yard, which is where we have all of our equipment and we've got the landy waiting for us. So we'll go through all this equipment in a little bit. Uh, first things first, we'll bring up the map. Really interesting looking map. Not quite sure how I'm going to navigate this, to be honest. Um, but we shall see. Uh, we'll go on a bit of a trek, I think. Uh, we will bring the mini map up in the corner. Start the landy up. And uh, let's go see what we can find. How do we get out of this yard? So if we head this way, I seem to have a lower level. Oh, do we have a road down here? We're well, taking a bit of a tour of the yard. I think that, actually, uh, so all our animals actually are in very close proximity to the start. So this here would be our pigs. Uh, yep, yeah, there are the pig huts. So that's quite cool. Uh, sort of a different setup a little bit for the pigs than you get on, normally on a map. Uh, I quite like that, actually. That's nice and different, and uh, and they're not easily accessible from this side. What about the other side here? Uh, over here, this is the sheep, I think. Uh, looking at that, I'm guessing that's the area for the sheep. Oh, yeah, there's the entrance to the cow uh, to the pig field. Uh, chickens are over there. And without hitting into this, that's how you get into the sheep field there. And then over the other end here should be our cows. Yeah, so there's the milking machine and the cows and everything around here. And this actually is also the exit from the yard. So we'll head down here. Uh, really lovely looking map. I mean, this is... I can see why... <coughs> I can see why he's done the long breaking distances. Or the long render distances. Uh, it is amazing looking. Really is. So we seem to be going to clockwise, uh, clockwise around the map. Uh, awesome uh, marina this. That we're coming down to. We do have a cell point at the end here. Uh, which I'm guessing is down this way. Here we are. Yeah. So this is the nursery. So this is the garden centre. Uh, we appear here to have what are those? That is wood chip sales, I'm guessing, and uh, manure sales down here. 
Excellent. Yeah, two things you would sell at a nursery. I must remember that for when doing my own map, that wood chips and manure are good things to get sold down, down that. All right, nursery. Let's do want to put one of those in. Uh, but back to this map, of course. Uh, around the nice. I'm really loving this town. Really looks fantastic. Uh, I'm not sure what fields we start with. So we start with 11, 13, and 14, uh, which we will probably get to fairly close to the end. As we go past 19 here. Uh, ah, plantation. So that is the woodland in there. Ah, I like the look of that. Is there another entrance to it? And what have we got here? We seem to have an industrial area of some description here. Uh, so, Willowbrook Foods. So this must be, yeah, we have a cell point at the far end of here. So we'll head down there and have a look. Uh, I do like the woodlands on this. They look really nice from what we've seen. I don't think we're going to get the chance to actually drive through them now. But, uh, yeah, from from where I am, that looks great. Uh, so, cell point here. Uh, I think that's probably a grains cell point in general. Uh, oh, wow. It's nice and twisty to get into this place. A long way back is that cell point. Good feeling of distance to it and a uh, large place. Yeah, and then you go out this way. Brilliant. Right, and back onto the road. So nice big grass field here in field 35. Wow, that's a gorgeously huge grass field. I wouldn't want to do round bales on it. It's the only thing I'll say about that. Uh, more fields that way. That looks like another yard. Is that one of our yards or is that find out actually in a moment because I think we have a road down that way here do we have a tractor down this yard here so that's the saw oh this might be the sawmill down the bottom here and that tractor may be fake well we should really test the hedges on this I wonder if the hedges are drive throughable uh, where's that road go that road just goes into that grass uh, or into that field there so, wow, there's a wonderful sense of distance on this. I didn't check the size of this map. Because it's PC only, there's a good chance this could be a 4X map. Ah, this is the livestock yard down here. Yeah. So this is uh, where you can buy and sell your livestock. Is that one of our tractors? looks a bit like it no you can't and I'm guessing that that is oh that's cool so those aren't actually usable um, and they're just models sitting down here I like that that's quite cool it's not often you see other tractors on the map like that uh, that looks a little bit weird what's going on here uh, yeah, that is, I thought as much, that's floating. So, uh, yeah, uh, there are some, there are some little issues with this, I think. <laughs> that's a bit weird. A hover auction cart. Uh, but otherwise, great. I uh, wonder where the purchase point is. I'm guessing it's in the middle there. Ah, uh, yeah, cows there, pigs there. I am intrigued to know if they've actually managed to separate those points out. Yes, they have. Oh, that's awesome. That's a nice bit of attention to detail. So you have to buy your pigs or your cows or your sheep from those areas. That's really cool. Uh, it is the Goldcrest Livestock uh, Shed, but uh, not much we can do about that. Uh, there are very limited livestock um things about without of course building your own and this here I'm guessing is our wood and uh, our yeah so we've got wood chip sales here I think I would 
guess is that yeah that must be the wood chip sales and there must be a log sale yeah here we are backing up to that oh a nice bit of mud there is mud mod on this map as well yeah i reckon you back up to that and sell into there for your wood nice so yeah there's nice cluster of stuff here and again nicely out of the way and difficult to get at uh, I don't think you can go any further down there, so um, <coughs> we will head back round. No traffic down here, so I'm sort of going all over the road. Uh, are the hedges drive throughable? Yes. Now, I wonder if that's the uh, Culpa Park Farm version of um, drive throughable or not, uh, which is my favourite version. Um, I think if you drove one of these vehicles into a hedge, absolutely it would go through it so uh, <clears throat> yeah I like that right uh, head back up this way so into another village so there's several villages on this map that kind of makes me think this must be a uh, four times again another tractor oh there's some really nice touches on this map really nice touches And uh, school. Oh, watch out for the people on the level cro on the zebra crossing. Heading out of town now. There is a speed camera somewhere on this map, and I'm just waiting to set it off. To be honest, and what have we got down here? So down here. We have a few bits. It looks like we have the shop. So if I head this way. That should. Yeah, here we go. Uh, I'm not sure. It kind of looks like. I'm not sure where this shop is from. It. Oh, is this a. That's ingenious. I think that's the Sosnovka shop. Redone. Yeah. Quite possibly. Yeah, that is. That's exactly what that is. That's the Sosnovka shop redone. I like that. Including the spinning tractor. That's awesome. And you've got... Yeah, you've got all sorts of stuff in here. So John Deere's... What is that? That is... Uh, a Weedem Wow. There's um, some interesting stuff in here. I like that. I like that a lot. What's the name of our shop? Let's have a look up here. It is... Oh, no, it's just that it says it's a Deutz Fahr shop. Oh, I'm crashing into stuff. And that... Uh, up this way we have a petrol station. And a shop. That's cool. It's not a brand I've heard of, that. And then we have another sail point up here. So, Ardamalan, I think. Can we get in here into the, this way? No, nope, we're heading back out again. Where is this sail point? Oh, good thing the cars don't absolutely crash into it. Oh, there it is. So, it's in there. How do you get into there? Not through that house. Ah, here we go. So, yeah. Another cell point here. A random man's walking around. I like I like that there's a, a good and a set of animations on this. Uh, that looks like the Cobra one, that one does. Pretty good. I'm, yeah, I'm liking the variation of everything in this. It's not crash. Right, and uh, head out this way. So we're not going to head, but we're going around the edge of the map. I think this. Oh yeah, that is that is the edge of the map. Oh, ah, oh, God, he just didn't stop. Right. up 
this way. Back inwards then. And we've got some road works up this way. Oh, there's the speed camera. Yeah, wow. Drove 12 miles out. That's cool. So yeah, watch out for that. There is a speed camera on this map and it will get you. Whoa. Wow. There's two of them. I didn't even see the second. That's a harsh. That is harsh. Oh. Ah, wow. That is an outflow pipe. Awesome. Uh, so Ballydorn is back up that way. We are going to keep going around the edge of the map here. We have another sail point just up here. So we will go and have a look at that over this bridge. Uh, so, all right. So there's a mill there. And there is a load of selling stuff here. So we'll head into here. Yeah, this is... This is a wonderfully detailed map. So our cell point, ah, wool cell point, uh, potato cell point, sugar beet cell point, and wood chip cell point. There's a good array of places to sell your wood chips on this map, actually. And yeah, this is our wool cell point in here. Good to see. And then I want to head back a little bit. Have we reached the top of the map? Let's have a look. Uh, where are we? Yes, just about. So we'll head into here, which I think is uh, is another cell point somewhere. It certainly is at the back here. Oh, yeah, here we are. We're going to have to open this gate. Now, I think I did something earlier. No, you do have to get out to open the gate. And it does open this way. So, let's get the landy out of the way. Oh, there's a little bit. I've seen this a couple of times before. Uh, yeah, the gate's collision extends beyond the gate. So, that's something to watch out on uh, this map then. There we go. Uh, Aldelman Mill is where this one is. Turn that off completely. And then there's another one behind. Up this way. Uh, around here. Ooh, that was a nice little jump. Looks like there's been a very sneaky thing. Uh, we might be able to. I'm not, actually, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how we can get from this side of the map back to the other side. Uh, and this one is, uh, yeah, another cell point here. Fantastic. Oh, there's one more right over there that we've missed. Let's see if we can get around that. How do we get to that one? There's that third cell point up the top. And the only thing you go straight over here. Ah, what's up here? Let's see the other side of the river. And uh, this might take us round, back around the map, maybe. I'm not sure, actually. Takes us up to field 33, certainly. And then, yes, it does take us up to this cell point here, which would appear to be our biogas plant. So two nice-sized uh, silage clamps. Uh, cell point for something, I'm guessing, slurry. Uh, and the silo king, so that is the uh, biodigester, or the, the yeah, biogas generation is there. Excellent. Right, we need to start heading back south. Now, how you do that from here, 
We can hop through field 23, I think. But, yeah, I can't see. There might be a road just sort of back towards field 49, maybe. If we head back down here. His nice winding road. Ah, here we go. Back towards Ballydorn. This way up here. Back to the small map. Yeah, and we can head back that way. So we'll head back this way. Continue around the edge of the map. Going through Ballydorn itself. Which seems to actually be fairly small. Uh... I think then up here we have is that one of our yards no uh, small farm for sale interesting wonder if you can actually buy the farm yeah it's pretty well abandoned and the doors open okay I've got to go and look at this ah oh, look at this that's awesome. Can I... You can walk all the way around this house. That's really cool. I love that. Yeah, there is a fantastic uh, attention to detail on this map. Really, really good. And this, this, this really feels like an abandoned old farm. Lots of mud. I think we might be able to get through here. There we go. Right. Cool. We do need to test uh, field cost at some point. Uh, but we are coming back up to some of the stuff we own. past so I do farm that is our other yard I think up there uh, we'll come back to that in a minute as we speed up here so we own field 18 on the side there we still don't own any of these uh, but these are the smaller starting fields really that you'd try and get hold of fairly early on it's a maze of roads, these, this map. There's no way, yeah, there's no way to cover this in uh, really very quickly. And we're back, we're back down to the marina area. Ah, this does look fantastic. Right, we're going to head up here into the other farmyard. So we own field 11 here. Which is a nice sized field to start with. Uh, so, yeah, field 18 was the one I missed to begin with. Uh, yard there, which looks like it has a manure area. But, of course, we're not anywhere near any of our animals. Uh, we have... What do we have here? Uh, so, this is, this is a yard of ours. Do we really start... That's a lot of tractors to start with. If those are ours... We'll have a look at that in a moment, but yeah, this, this yard is ours. There seems to be grain storage. We'll head back out this way. Alright, much mud along here. Not a lot of mud along here. What do you do expect a little bit more? There is some in the corner. Quite nice to see the mud used sparingly, admittedly. Oh, oh, we might need to put the four-wheel drive on. Yep. Come on. Okay. Back momentarily. 
Right, there we are. We're out of the mud now. Oh, that took a bit of work. Right, so we're going to head down. Oh, that's that's a huge mud puddle into that field. Everything's going to get stuck going in there. Uh, uh, heading back down here, then. We come back to our main farm. So that's pretty cool. I really, yeah, that's a wonderfully detailed map. Really like the look of that. Uh, I do need to find a sort of the closest field that needs purchasing. Uh, so we'll turn that off and we will just hop over to field. Uh, I really want to hop over this. Field 17 is a bit small. 16 we own. 26 is huge. So we want to head north, I think, and see if we can find out how much field 25 costs. Right, grab the cat back. Now, the purchase point for 25 is just by the farm anyway, so that's all good. Hop over here. There it is. Can't get at it easily from the farm, but uh, yeah. So, we have missions, which is fantastic. Uh, 243,000. Ow. For, uh, yeah, for sort of a medium-sized field. So the fields are big on this map then. For them to be costing that much. Either that or they're just really expensive. So, uh, wow. That's, uh, that's quite something. Uh, so we will go and have a look at uh, what we have in the garage. So in the garage, we have uh, a lot of tractors. Uh, this is quite a long scroll bar. So, uh, yeah, might take a bit to go through this. Uh, we've got Massey Ferguson uh, 5600, an Agrostar 6.61, uh, a Case uh, of 1455XL, a Fent 300 Vario. Oh, that's gone too far. Uh, a Fent 700 Vario. So uh, five tractors we start with. So I think those two are down at this farm and then those three are down at the other farm. Uh, we've got front loader, a universal bucket, a pallet fork and a bale spike. We've got the small case, uh, which seems maybe a little small for this map. Uh, along with its header and uh, the Laguan uh, 24 header trailer. Uh, the Farm Tech uh, TKD 1600 trailer. The Amazon Catros 6002 2 uh, cultivator. The Kunvari Master uh, 153 plow, which is a good all round plow. I like that one. Uh, the Kerberland Cord DL Cedar. And the Kerberland Kerbal, uh, uh, Exacta EL 700. Um, uh, solid fertilizer sprayer and the Amazon UF 1201 uh, sprayer. So good choices and variation on the sprayers. Uh, a couple of sewer weights. Uh, the Pottinger Novacat side mower. Uh, the Pottinger Euroboss uh, forage wagon. Uh, the big agricult uh, big baler New Holland. Uh, yeah, you'd need a square baler on this map. Uh, the Lizard pickup TT. Uh, so that's the newer Lizard. Uh, that's available in the game for a truck. Uh, the Joskin Aquatrans, uh, 7300. Uh, and uh, Karcher Pressure Washer. And then, of course, we've got the Landy as well, which we've added in. So, begs the question, do we start with any animals? Because that does sometimes happen on these maps. Uh, no, we don't start with any animals. So we are set up to do animals, but we don't start with any. So that's uh, that's an interesting place to be coming from. Uh, and really, that's it. Uh, an impressive map. Not noticed any big frame rate drops uh, anywhere. I mean, we're back in the yard now, and we're getting 47, 48 FPS. So maybe that's something that they've, that, that they've managed to balance out. Um... Go check it out at FSUK. I think this is a fantastic map and well worth your time. Uh, but for now, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. 
I hope you have enjoyed this first look. Please give it a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. And for all the latest videos and live streams from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel. I will see you next time. Goodbye.